Hello everybody. So this is a video about standard shopping campaign setup strategy and structure in 2022. Why? Because we have now Performance Max and there is a lot of buzz around Performance Max, how it's a game changer. Uh, it in some way takes away control and in some way gives control back. So in 2022, if you're setting up standard shopping campaigns, this is how you should do it from my perspective. This is a very short and simple video. I want to take a moment actually and discuss the differences. So we had for shopping campaigns, three campaign types available right now. One is standard shopping, which is kind of been around for years. Then we had smart shopping, which is phasing out to performance max in July. Then we have performance max, which is very different approach at campaign types. It can serve into multiple networks from one, uh, one, one campaign, takes away a lot of controls, a lot of insights, but gives back control and insights in a different way. So we're going to look at how to set up standard shopping campaigns in 2022 for an e-commerce website. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, walk you through this step by step. Okay. So we're going to start with the website. This is my style. This is my way of doing it. As you can see, this is a website which sells bikes and parts and accessories and gear. Naturally, they have different categories. They have category for shippable bikes and clothes and accessories and parts and tires and tubes. We are looking at setting up standard shopping campaign for this online store. Uh, there are different approaches to it. Okay. One approach is very simple. You set up one campaign, one ad, ad group and segment everything into product groups and you are you're good with it this is how you can start you can start with manual bidding manual cpc enhanced cpc and you can work your uh, way towards getting some uh, you know conversion history in place and then switching to uh, maximize conversions or maximize conversions with target return on ad spend or tros bid strategy for most advertisers who are at small medium scale this campaign type will be adequate you don't need to worry about different structures different ad groups uh, different uh, uh, you know multiple campaigns just set up one campaign if you're on a limited budget and you're good and here is here is the reason why you should set up one campaign if you're on a limited budget and if you're testing the waters at this time one campaign will ensure that your budget is utilize the best way your campaign gets the momentum and you get to see the performance history and conversion history you build conversion history faster on a small budget you are not spreading your budget too thin across multiple campaigns and this is the reason why i recommend this when you set up a one campaign with one ad group campaign priority can be left at default low okay uh, so that's one approach to it but what if you have been running campaigns for a while and you don't have any um, or, or you have like kind of an open budget and you want to go aggressively in that case you will set up uh, different campaigns and there are different considerations i will walk you through that and you will probably even look at different uh, ad groups as well not just uh, product groups so here is the reason why you would do that um, the first consideration when you are looking at a bigger budget open budget campaign uh, and you want to go you have aggressive go to market strategy uh, you should be looking at price points for different points price points the return on ad spend can look very different so for example if you uh, hop into the bikes here the bikes sell anywhere between thousand dollar to three thousand dollar right that's kind of the ticket size that's the price range of the bikes but that may not be the price range for clothes accessories parts tires and tubes there will be like 50 to 300 uh, or maybe 500 range right so if you throw everything into one campaign and you are tracking return on ad spend at a campaign level, you will not get the clear picture of how the performance is uh, in terms of return on ad spend um, against these different set of products with different price ranges. Because 50 clicks on a bike that results in a sale of $1,500, your, uh, let's say average CPC was $1. So you spent $50 and sold a product for $1,500, your return on ad spend is suddenly looking very good. But same 50 clicks on a gear or accessory which has a price range of 100 to 200 dollars your return on ad spend would look very different and therefore you should be splitting these into different ad groups if not different campaigns yet you can even split them into different campaigns depending upon how open the budget is all right so that's one consideration i have a sheet here which kind of gives you the structure let's assume that it's not a one campaign one ad group uh, scenario i have significant budget at hand here and therefore how would i structure the campaigns 
So back to the website, I'm going to look at setting up one campaign for bikes alone because under the bikes, we have other categories. We have BMX bikes, electric bikes, we have mountain bikes, path and pavement bikes, kid bikes and so on and so forth. I want to set up one campaign for bikes and I want to set up different uh, ad groups for these different types of bikes. And the reason why I would do different ad groups and not product groups, that, that the real difference is that on the ad groups, you can add negative keywords. So electric bike keywords may not be important for or relevant for mountain bikes or kids bikes for that matter. And therefore, I, I want to have the flexibility of excluding those keywords as negatives from uh, one category to the other. And the negative keywords can be added either at the campaign level or at the ad group level, not at the product group level. So it's very, very important to understand. And it's important to understand, have this clarity early on because you are structuring the campaign and you don't want to create the mess. So I have a very clear uh, agenda here. The reason why I'm set, uh, setting up a different campaign is because I want to treat the bikes differently. This is my higher ticket item and I want to see, I will probably spend more, uh, I will have aggressive uh, return on ad spend tar uh, target and I can have like, uh, I can run this campaign differently. I can have different bid strategy, different bids. And the reason why I'm setting up ad groups is because I want to be able to exclude keywords of electric bikes into BMX, kids bikes into all of these except kids uh, and so on and so forth, right? So that's my strategy here. Okay, so we are back to the template here and we are saying that the first campaign is going to be for bikes bikes campaign okay and ad groups uh, my ad groups are going to be uh, bmx electric mountain uh, bmx electric mountain uh, paths and pavements paths and pavements city bikes basically uh, pavements and then what else kids and road kids and road bikes very clear um, this is how my ad group is going to look like product group I can probably uh, make product groups inside of these um, based on maybe models or I will just probably use item IDs as product groups because I want to I want to take control and I want to be hyper hyper um, targeted uh, with my bids and everything because I'm testing the waters here right so my products or groups are going to be item IDs okay um, across all of these cool uh, my bid strategy because I'm starting new my bid strategy is going to be ecpc okay cool uh campaign priority now this is important because i am dealing with multiple campaigns now because i'm setting up one for the bike and the uh, other for the rest uh, i'm gonna keep this campaign priority as high because guess what i want to sell more of the bikes and i can get more revenue and i can get higher return on ad spend uh, negatives would be um for BMX, it would be kids. Um, for electric, would be uh, kids as well. For mountain, will be maybe electric or maybe not, because electric bikes are everywhere, uh, like come in all different. Um, so, uh, road bike, maybe kids and road. Maybe I can separate this as road keywords and uh, oops, not here, but here. Kids, road, uh, mountain. Path. I would generally call it city bikes. Okay, uh, city bikes. All right. So these are my negatives here. Uh, this would be probably the negative here as well because uh, I can I can actually do electric here as well. So kids electric. These are not the categories. These are the keywords around these um, different um, uh, how to say different groups uh, of of products. All right. So these would be the keywords around kids, keywords around electric, keywords around road, mountain, city would be all excluded from BMX and so on and so forth. I would make uh, different, um, you know, I would probably add uh, BMX here as negative BMX keywords. What I can also include is the brand of these uh, different so electric bike brands and BMX brands and mountain bike uh, brands and city bike brands as those keywords as negatives here. Cool. So I'm going to build the negatives uh, just like that. Uh, that's how my first campaign is going to look like. My second campaign would be, uh, let's say the second campaign. So a uh, second campaign can be around, let's say there are accessories, parts, tires and tubes. You know what? I I'm thinking that the second campaign can be a mix of all these three. So the second campaign, um, I don't want to spread my budget too thin either. So I'm going to 
create the second campaign as parts and parts gear accessories okay that's my second campaign and my groups would be uh, the ad groups would be here so clothes so i can say uh, clothes then uh, uh, parts accessories and uh, then tires tubes okay these are my uh, ad groups and my product groups can be the further subcategories of the clothes and parts and accessories and uh, su subcategories so i'm just gonna say subcategory subcategories would be my product groups because you i might want to control the bits of these um, different groups of products there might be different price points so i want to keep them um, organized like that bid strategy again is ecpc and campaign priority this time can be medium because i don't want to um, I, I want my bikes campaign to work better correct <clears throat> uh, again uh, negatives would be uh, whatever i've identified across these categories uh, would be negative for like four category keywords would be negative for one and like uh, so on and so forth you might not have adequate uh, adequate amount of negative keywords to start with but you can do some general negatives like you know for example free or um, you know free bikes or free accessories free parts or uh, near me if this store is not selling products uh, in a store but online so those near me keywords those uh, free keywords those um, all standard negative keywords you can add as negative here besides of course adding the one category keywords into the other and like i said you can wait until some campaign data performance data kicks in search term history kicks in and start adding negatives uh, which is kind of an ongoing process all right so uh, negatives would be uh, universal plus uh, other categories okay that's that's my uh, negative list here here also uh, you can have universal as the negative why would we want to do um, free and uh, review maybe or uh, near me keywords so universal universal negatives i'll obviously build a list and uh, i would add them as negatives here all right so my third campaign uh, i'm gonna do a third campaign as well which i'm gonna call it as catch-all campaign anything that's not captured here uh, could be a catch-all campaign and why this is important is because you may not want to push all categories to start with okay the different businesses may have different uh, take on this uh, they may have certain product categories that they want to push forward and they want to prioritize advertising those product categories and products under those categories. The catch-all campaign can sit at uh, everything else or everything, every product, actually every product. And there, there can be only one ad group and uh, let this be only one product group as well, everything. And uh, bid strategy again, ECPC. You can actually do max conversions here to start with. And let's do max conversion because we are starting up uh, and um, we already have ECPC bid strategy on the these two high and medium priority campaigns. So why not do max conversion on the catch all campaign which has got low priority? Okay. And negatives can be universal. Hmm? So this is this is how my campaign structure going to look like. Uh, I will deploy this campaign and um, these three campaigns uh, give it like four to six weeks observe the data and um, then see how it goes one important thing uh, is the budget so i did not add the column for the budget so let's add budget as well here and budget can be let's say for the bikes campaign i'm gonna give it hundred dollar per day okay uh, for the parts and accessories campaign i'm gonna let's say give it uh, seventy dollars per day and for the catch-all campaign i'm going to give it 30 dollars per day so it's a 200 dollars per day kind of a structure and it covers everything um, in its detail that's how i i would structure it for this store if this was my client and that's how uh, i would recommend you approach it uh, that's all uh, let me know if you had any question